Because when we bow down, we're simply hiding from it and accepting it. But when we bow up, we actually go and attack the situation, attack that problem. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way, I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson, and today I want to talk to you about a topic that's near and dear to my heart. It's something I've had to go through experience in my own life, and as a as, a, as someone that works with entrepreneurs and people that are out there kind of on the edge of uh, pushing the envelope of what they think they can do and what they're able to do. And then also as a coach, right? Uh, working with young high school kids on, on people achieving their goals. I, I see this all the time. And the topic that, and the topic and the title of today is, are you going to bow up or bow down? And I want you to think about that bow up or bow down. Because we have these decisions that we make in our life. And I'm going to tell you a very quick story. Um, this last week, I was talking with one of my players. And a great player, very talented, um, and just is kind of in a rut, right? He, he's not doing what he knows he can do. And um, I just see him, like his body language is just like defeated, and then therefore, obviously, your body language is defeated, you're mentally defeated, you play defeated, right? And so I pulled him aside and I was talking with him and I was just sharing with him how talented he is and how much he how much ability he has, but how he's not bowing up. He's actually bowing down. And what had happened was he had a couple bad things go wrong in a game and it just it just stripped his self-esteem. It just, all of his confidence just boom, right out the, right out the window. Really, th I mean, this happens all the time with high schoolers, right? But I'm going to tell you, it also happens with entrepreneurs, it happens with people who are 50 years old, right? Like where our confidence just gets shaken. And, you know, I pulled him aside and I said, listen, this is who you are. This is how talented you are. This is how much you have to do. And by the way, yeah, you're going to have challenges that hit you in life. Like they're going to happen. As a matter of fact, before that game happened, I said, everyone raise your hand. And then um, afterwards I said, all right, look around. If you have your hand raised, it means you're going to make a mistake, right? Like I just told him like, we're going to make mistakes. And it's easy for us to kind of process that. And it's easy for us to know that we're going to have challenges and stuff that we're going to face in life. It's easy for us to know that conceptually, but when it hits us right smack in the face, right on the nose, man, it strips our confidence away. And so I told him, I said, listen, your body language language and your attitude is such that you're just bowing down. You're just, you're giving into the situation instead of bowing up against it. And I said, listen, you know, you're 16 years old right now. You have this incredible life ahead and soccer is great and all, but like, this is a life lesson for you because someday you're going to have challenges in your life that are real, way bigger than just soccer, right? You might lose your job. You might have some financial issues. You might have health issues or, or go something, go through something with your family and, and, and bowing down and getting depressed and getting sad about that is not going to help you, right? And I said, so right now you need to learn the habits of bowing up, bow up against that challenge. And I'm telling him this and the words are coming out of my mouth. And I'm, as I'm, as I'm telling him, I'm thinking about all of the situations that I've had as an entrepreneur, someone who's been out there chasing their dreams where like I have gotten punched right in the nose. I remember when I very first started my company and this, this, this message is great, especially if you're a new entrepreneur, I want you to get this inside of you. I remember when I first started my company, my very first one, I had all of these expectations and excitement about where it was going to be, how, how after six months, the company was going to look at all of this success and all of these things I thought we were going to be accomplishing. And I got to tell you, I was at like month nine, almost at about a year. And I remember like freaking out about my bills that we had, that we had started to accumulate and the expenses of starting a company. And I had this moment. So at the time 
uh, on Sundays, I would go and check our PO box because that's where our mail went. And, you know, obviously every Sunday I was like, oh, I really hope there's checks in there. Right. Because I had all of this AR due and all this money due. And so this was going to be a big Sunday. And I went to the PO box and I opened it up and I opened it up and I pulled out all of this mail and I remember going through and it was like return and cancels and all of these ne- and bills. Right. And I'm looking for my checks and, and there was only like five checks in there and all of these bills and, and returns and cancels and all this other stuff. And I remember like my wife was waiting in the car and you know, my newborn daughter in the car in the back seat, you know, in her little um, car seat. And I remember I was in the post office and they were in the car waiting for me. And I had this and literally I, I was like tearing up. I was so upset. I was so distraught. I was so, I had so much anxiety because I knew what I was counting on didn't happen. As a matter of fact, just bills came in and I felt this pressure and I felt myself. And I remember this is like literally probably 20 some years ago, 21, 22 years ago. And I still remember the heaviness that I felt on my heart. And, and I like, I remember I just started to bow down to the situation and my body language just started to, to bow. And I just became mentally defeated. I, I started to get physically feed, defeated, feel it physically. And, and, and as I was doing this, I realized I had to walk out to the car and see my wife and my daughter. And I was like, I can't do this. I cannot let myself bow down to this situation. I've got to pick myself up and not only pick myself up, but instead of bowing down, I needed to bow up to this situation. I needed to fight against the situation. Even though everything inside of me made me want to bow down, I knew that I needed to bow up. And so I like, I sent there, I was inside the post office. I had to take some moments and I had to talk to myself. I had to pray. I had to gather myself. I had to get myself right. And I had to bow up against this situation. And it wasn't just getting a stiff upper lip. It was deciding what I was going to do about it. So not only was I composing myself mentally, I was also coming up with the strategy of how I was going to fight against the situation. Okay, so this week I'm going to go and I'm going to talk to my vendors. I'm going to tell them the situation I'm in. This week I'm going to work really, really hard on my AR and I'm going to spend money, our time making sure that we get our collections in. This week I'm making darn sure we hit our sales, right? And and I came up with this plan for the week of how I was going to defeat the situation rather than let the situation defeat me. And so as I'm talking to my player on the field, all of these thoughts are flooding back. And so I was encouraging him as a player. I'm like, listen, this isn't just something where you got to get a stiff upper lip. You've got to decide what you need to change about yourself so that you don't just get a stiff upper lip and a positive attitude, but that you can actually bow up against the situation. You can put your chest out and say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I've been struggling with. And this is what I'm going to change. And so it's, it's more than this attitude and it's more than a stiff upper lip. It's a understanding of, I cannot allow the situation to beat me mentally, emotionally, physically, but also not only do I have to change my attitude, change my posture, change my mind. I now have to have a strategy to go up and bow up against this situation and attack the situation. And so I talked to my keeper and I said, what can you do? What are your weaknesses? What's got you down? And he shared with me what had him down. I said, great. What are we going to do about this? He said, well, actually I could probably start working on this. I could turn this weakness that I've been, you know, insecure about into my strength. And I'm like, exactly. You can do this. And so at the end I said, listen, dude, This is about soccer, but it's not about soccer. It's about your life, 
right? So when st- situations like this happen, we realize that there's this pressure. We realize that there's this anxiety, the stuff that causes us to bow down in our lives. And I said, we have to recognize that quickly have the mental fortitude to change our posture, to change our attitude, but then also the strategy to fight against the situation. And so now if you're listening to this podcast right now, there might be some things in your life, in your business, in your family, in your personal situation, in your life right now that you're bowing down to and you're just accepting and you're just allowing that situation and you're bowing down to and accepting those things in your life. Right now, I want to encourage you, take those things Deal with them directly. Realize right now that bowing down is not going to help you. That right now, that anxiety, that stress, that whatever you have that you're carrying, you have to have the mental fortitude to pick yourself back up. Pick yourself back up with your body language, with your self-talk, with all of these things that we each one of us struggle with. Pick yourself up, put your chest out, Bow up to this situation and then take the time to have a strategy to combat it. Because when we bow down, we're simply hiding from it and accepting it. But when we bow up, we actually go and attack the situation, attack that problem. I'm Devin. This is Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, and I know this is going to help you. 